Welcome to our Mojo 3. So for this week, I am going to tackle about creating and formatting reports. Okay. I am your subject teacher, Mrs. Lorana R. De Guzman, and welcome to our new lesson. Okay. So let us identify what is or what are reports. Okay. Reports allow you to present, organize, summarize, and print all or part of the data in a database. You can create report from the datasheet view, from the report database object, or from the report wizard. Okay, creating a simple report. Okay, so we do have the steps in creating a simple report. Okay, so for you to follow the steps in creating a simple report, you may open your book on page 221 up to page um, 230. Okay, so the steps in creating a simple report is indicated on your book. Okay, click the table or query that you want to create a report. Okay, on the create tab, click report and the report appears in the layout view. Okay, click the save button and type your file name to save the report. So those, that is on how to create a simple report. Okay, so let us have our Microsoft Access. Okay, let me create... <laughs> A report from the report or let me create a simple uh, report okay from the create tab go to the report groups and select report and then it will automatically have your report the same as the uh, multiple items view kung uh, multiple items form kung naalala niyo yung multiple items form natin meron siyang katulad nito or itsunan nito but of course the difference is that sa ating reports ay meron siyang automatically or generated date and time okay so for example uh, once you or every time you will open your microsoft uh, no your report from your microsoft access it will have the uh, updated date and time Okay? So, that is why it is called report kasi pag sinabi natin report, dapat detailed yung kanyang uh, content. Okay? Kailan ginawa? Anong oras ginawa? Ano yung laman? Okay. So, that is on how to create a simple report. Okay? So, let us create a report from wizard. So, in creating a report from wizard, I have downloaded a video from YouTube. Okay, so please watch the video until the end. Okay, so paano po gumagawa ng report from report wizard? Okay, so hindi kasama dun sa video, kaya ipapakita ko muna. Go to the create tab, and then go to the report group, or reports group, and then select report wizard. And then, of course, uh, select single arrow or double arrow, depende kung ano yung ilalagay mo sa report mo. Pwede yung product and service only, prices only, stocks only, or pwede yung products and service kasama si prices, or pwede yung lahat. Pero kung lahat ang ilalagay mo sa iyong uh, report, so you may click double arrow and then next. And then, pipiliin mo lamang yung layout ng iyong report if you want columnar, tabular, or justify. So, for me, I will choose the tabular. When we say tabular, it is uh, will look like a table. Okay, and then finish. Ayan. And then from the video, I uh, got from the YouTube, ipapakita kung paano natin i-customize si uh, report from wizard. Access gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to formatting a report you can use any fonts and colors that you want, you can change the theme, and you can even add a header, footer, and company logo. In this example, I'd like to start out by changing the fonts, and I want to put the descriptions in italics and make the product names bold. To do this, we'll need to be in Layout View. First, select the column that you want to change. You can also hold down the Shift key if you want to select multiple columns. Then go to the Format tab and choose the font that you want. I'm going to pick Cambria. Now to make the descriptions italic, I'll select them and click the italic command. And then I'll select the product type and make it bold. I think I'll go ahead and delete the field headers. Anybody who sees this menu will know what each column is, so they don't really need to be labeled. At this point, we can switch to Print Preview to see how it looks. The new font and italics really help to give it a more distinctive look. Now I'd like to add a page header which will include the address of our bakery. To do this, we'll need to go into Design View, which we haven't looked at yet. 
Here you can make some of the same types of adjustments you can make in Layout View, but it also lets you do some other things like adding headers and footers. You'll see several bars and find the one that says Page Header. You'll need to make sure that there's some empty space below it, and if there isn't any space, then you'll need to click on this border and drag it down. Then in the Design tab, find the Controls group, and you'll want to click on this icon, which is the Label command. And then in your Page Header, click and drag to create a box. You can type whatever you want here, and I'm going to type our bakery's address, phone number, and email address. And if you want, you can also edit the Report Header, Page Footer, and Report Footer in the same way. Let's go back to Print Preview to see how our header looks. I think it looks good, so I'm not going to change anything. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that today's date and the page number are in the page footer. These were automatically added for us because we created this report with the report wizard. However, you can also add them manually by going to either Layout View or Design View, and then clicking Page Numbers or Date and Time on the Design tab. Now, one thing that will make this report look much more complete is a company logo. So I'll click the logo command, and then you can select the picture that you want, and then click OK. OK, now this may be hard to see, but our logo has been added in the report header, and it has an orange box around it. I'm just going to drag this corner to make it larger, and then I'll move it over to the center of the page. I'll also move the title to the center. And I think this title would look better if it just said Menu. And finally, you can change the overall look of your report by selecting a different theme. A theme is a set of colors and fonts that applies to your entire database, and that means it can affect your other objects as well. If you want, you can even mix and match colors and fonts from different themes. All of these little details that we've added to our report make a big difference, and now it actually looks like a real menu that we can print and give to our customers. Okay, so that is on how to create a report from the report wizards. Okay, so I hope you understand well the lesson on how to create and format a report. Okay, so go back to your module and answer the following activities provided for you. Okay, have a good day ahead.